I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. Those things that I find tell me what I'm building. I have no idea what pieces are for when I find them, but I know that anything that has shape will lend itself to, to some piece of artwork. <laughs> Working with furniture and lighting, you have to work from, uh, from a designer's drawing, and everything has to be very precise and precision. And I think this is my uh, relief from that. Sometimes I'll take things that are left over from building the furniture and they'll be laying around and I'll be cleaning the shop and then I'll say, uh, wow, this looks like this. And I'll just start going off on, uh, on a piece and, and you know, it's been a kind of even amazing to me how some things materialize out of nothing. It's really a lot of fun just having a stock of found objects and junk that I have no idea what piece they're going to be on what sculpture. But just to pull things out and lay them on the table, play with them here and there, this works here, this works there, toss them back into the pile. It's, it's like doing a, um, a jigsaw puzzle. It's um, very therapeutic for me as an, as an artist to uh, to be able to do a piece of artwork that you don't really have a plan for. I lived in Detroit, they'd probably may be made of car parts. But I live in Shrewsbury, and they're made of farm parts. It, it's been deteriorating for 100 years, some of these parts already, and they're just getting a new life, and they'll be around for hundreds of years you know, to come. Maybe 200 years from now, if there's still an antique roadshow, my work will be on that. Like the old saying goes, one man's junk's another man's treasure. <laughs>